Good morning, all of you. Let's uh, morning, start with our next content of the unit three. And uh, yesterday we have started with the proposition logic, and uh, we are discussing, uh, you know, to represent the knowledge uh, for the agent. There is utilization of different kind of formal language, uh, and uh, in that we represent the knowledge with the help of different kind of formal logic. and in there are the two categories of the formal logic uh, one is the propositional logic and second is the first order logic and we are discussing the proposition logic yesterday we have discussed the number of uh, things related to the proposition logic now in the proposition logic what exactly mean by the uh, semantics okay now you can see in the world uh, as you know the we are representing the whatever the facts there in the real world with the help of the proposition logic so there are the world is the full what you can say full set of the facts are there okay uh, everybody is uh, uh, saying anything uh, regarding the any fact or regarding the any uh, Uh, content etc etc so whatever the things are available in the world these are we are referring it as a set of facts are available in the world now you know to represent this set of facts or the sentences or the statement etc etc we are we are utilizing the for example the propositional logic okay and in that we are going to make you know in order to represent these different facts or the real world facts or the statement sentences we are going to utilize the uh, propositional symbols okay and that uh, propositional symbols is having some kind of meaning associated with that okay here i have mentioned where each propositional symbol interpretation can be mapped to the real world feature so whatever the real world facts are there real world sentences statements are there uh, propositions are there that that thing we are going to represent with the help of with the, with the help of the propositional symbols and each of these propositional symbols is is having some kind of semantics okay now semantic is nothing but what semantic of any kind of sentence or semantic of any kind of fact is nothing but the meaning of that particular sentence and what semantic determine semantic determine the interpretation as similarly semantic determine the meaning of that particular sentence what exactly is the meaning of certain sentence now you know to define the semantics of each proposition symbols okay what exactly is the meaning of particular uh, uh, propositional symbol that we are going to utilize in the proposition logic let's see with the example suppose i write here the statement or the fact like it is hot and humid okay sentence i have written what it is hot and humid so it is a kind of fact yes all of you are agree the fact which is present in the real world yes correct yes yes sir so it is hot and the humid means this is the fact related with the weather weather condition correct now suppose if i represent this for, now this is the combination of two statement or the two proposition or you can say it is nothing but the which kind of proposition compound proposition yes or no this statement is the compound proposition yes. or the atomic proposition yes compound sir the compound, compound. proposition so compound. sentence is what it is hot and humid suppose i represent the first statement with the a and i represent the second statement with the b you are getting here we have the two statement first is that it is hot and second is that it is humid so i represent the first statement with the a that is it is hot and i represent the second statement with the b that is it is humid now here which propositional symbols we have utilized can you tell me which propositional symbols we have utilized here yes
which are the propositional symbols the double colon sir colon sir these are the propositional symbol and a is the one propositional symbol and b is the another propositional symbol here i have written now uh, in order to represent this real world facts we are going to utilize what propositional symbols now what kind of propositional symbol we can utilize in the yesterday lecture we have seen from a to z any kind of propositional symbol we can utilize getting yes capital e. yes sir. yes so this is this is the first propositional symbol here we utilize i am not saying the connective i am saying the propositional symbols okay so a is the propositional symbol which is rep representing the real world fact it is what and b is the another propositional symbol which is representing the another fact that is it is humid now what is the meaning of this a what is the semantic of this a then now semantic of this a is nothing but it is hot and semantic of b is nothing but it is humid understood yes sir and that is nothing but the semantic in case of the proposition logic where what we are doing we are just representing the real world fact with the help of some propositional symbols and that propositional symbol indicates the meaning of that particular proposition for example here a means it is hot and b means it is you made understood yes sir and these sentences can only be true only when its interpretation in the real world is true manje kay interpretation in the real world in the sense its meaning in the real world is true then only we can say these sentences are true you are getting yes sir अपन हिवाड़े मनू शको का इट इज हॉट एंड इट इज ह्यूमिड नो सर इन द विंटर सीजन नो अंडरस्टूड दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस कि रियल वर्ल्ड मध्य जर ट्रू आते देन एंड देन ओनली वी कैन से इट इज ट्रू एंड देन एंड देन ओनली इट्स इंटरप्रिटेशन ओनली वेन इट्स इंटरप्रिटेशन इन द रियल वर्ल्ड इज ट्रू देन ओनली वी कैन से दिस स्टेटमेंट्स आर ट्रू द सेम थिंग आई मेन्शन दिस सेंटेन्सेस मीन दिस टू सेंटेन्सेस आर ट्रू ओनली वेन its interpretation or its meaning or its semantics in the real world is true okay so point here you should keep in mind that here we are going to in order to represent the semantics in case of the proposition logic we are going to utilize the propositional symbol which will represent the different facts in the world like here i utilize the a and here i utilize the b and this propositional symbol is having some kind of semantics for example here a is having the semantic or meaning as it is hot and this propositional symbol b it is having the semantic or meaning as it is humid understood and this meaning can be true only when its interpretation or this fact is true in the real world okay so this is nothing but the point of semantic in case of the proposition logic now let's come to the another important point that is the logical connectives or the logical operators utilize in the proposition logic okay so this in case of the propositional logic in proposition logic we make the use of relationship between the propositions and this relationship is denoted by the connectives for example previously we made the two statement it is hot and second it and uh, uh, it is uh, hot and it is humid so these are the two statements understood now in order to represent this relationship between between these two statements okay or in order to represent the relationship between these two proposition we need to take the help of some operators yes or no yes sir and what kind of operators we are utilizing for that some kind of logical operators or which is also called as the logical connectives and in case of the proposition logic there are the these are the uh, in the table i have shown these are the some of uh, what we can say the connectives are utilized in the proposition logic so let's see first one we have that is the and or which is also called as the conjunction okay and symbol for this and and conjunction is what like this all of you can able to see this yes sir now this if you want to denote the relationship between this connective then that relationship can be shown like this p and 
q here p is what one propositional symbol yes and q is what another propositional symbol correct yes sir yes sir what exactly it means here i have shown the meaning also now here p and q is true if both p and q are true otherwise it is false understood now to define these logical connectives to define these logical connectives there is a utilization of one particular uh, what you can say uh, technique that is nothing but our truth table all of you must be knowing yes or no yes sir to define these logical connectives we make the use of the truth table as i said here p and q is can be true only if both p and q are true otherwise p and q is false now same part i have shown in the truth table also here you can see here p q and for example suppose uh, we want the p and q now we can see here as i mentioned in the meaning of that uh, connect uh, connective table p and q true only when both are true here you can see if both are true then only we can have the p and q as a combined statement as a true understood now what is the use of this truth truth table can anybody tell me what is the use of this truth table yes for defining logical connectives in the sense in in another word in in simplified words can anybody tell me for example relation to now suppose let let's take the same example suppose we have mentioned here as a for example a like what it is uh, it is what correct i can't write it properly here but let me show you it is what and uh, suppose now not the p uh, not the a let's see the p here because in the table we have that and we have the q it is humid these are the two uh, proposition yes yes okay. sir and suppose this is this is also true and this is also true correct but combined statement is what it is hot and humid correct combined statement was what it is hot and humid now that combined statement we have represented using the two propositional symbols p and q correct here p here this statement is true first statement is true and second statement is also the true correct now how we can determine the combined statement that is the uh, what is what we can the composition com, uh, compound proposition compound proposition was what it is hot and humid correct what was our com compound proposition compound proposition kay hota aplya tya statement madhe it is hot it is hot and humid it is hot and humid apan tyacha kay conversion kela atomic proposition madhe atomic proposition madli pehli statement kay apli it is hot correct ani stake second statement kay it is humid suppose we we know that first statement is also true second is also true now from that we have to determine whether it is true or not this compound proposition is true or not how we can determine this using truth table using the truth table understood the same thing i have mentioned truth table is a table showing what the resulting truth value of complex statement mag hi ji compound proposition hai yela apan compound complex statement manu shakto ka nahi yes sir so if you want to know what is the truth value of complex statement for all the possible truth values of all simple statement mag ya complex statement cha apan he don statement banavle to yanla apan simple statement manu shakto ki nahi yes आणि ह्या सिंपल ह्या सिंपल सेंटेन्सची जर आपल्याला ट्रूथ व्हॅल्यू माहित असेल आपल्याला माहित येतं की पहिली स्टेटमेंट ट्रू आहे सेकंड स्टेटमेंट ऑल्सो काय ट्रू आहे करेक्ट यस यस सर अँड इफ यू नो इफ यू नो द पॉसिबल ट्रूथ व्हॅल्यू ऑफ सिंपल सेंटेन्स नाउ फ्रॉम दॅट पॉसिबल ट्रूथ व्हॅल्यू ऑफ सिंपल सेंटेन्स वी कॅन गेट द पॉसिबल ट्रूथ व्हॅल्यू ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेन्स अँड यू नॉट टू गेट दॅट 
we make the use of the truth table i hope you have got the point now yes sir so that is nothing but the point of the truth table okay same for the all the kind of connectives now first connective is and now you must understood this one second is the or which is also called as the disjunction and this is represented by symbol this or symbol and it is relationship can be shown like this p or q now p or q is true if either p or q is true p or q can be true asel when when either one of that is true either p is true or q is true or both of if the both of them are so true then also the p or q is true otherwise it is false same we can see in the table also in case of the p or q this is our p or q now if both are true then it is true understood if any of this true then also it is true if any of this true then it is uh, it is also true but if both are the false then it is false okay yes getting yes sir yes sir another connective we have the negation that is being having the symbol like this now negation can, uh, relation can be shown like this negation of p now negation of p is the opposite of p okay opposite of p if p is true if p is true then negation p will be false and vice versa same thing also we can see in the true table then we have the another connective exclusive or is there which is being shown relation like this either p or q but not the both only one of these two if both are the different then p exclusive or q will be true otherwise it is false then we have the implication now what is the another name for the connective implication symbol for the implication is like this what is the another name for the implication connective yes implication connective sat is dusra ek word hai what is that hmm implic for the implication there is also another word and for the double implication also there is another word conditional and the by conditional what conditional and the for the implication there is another word that is the conditional for the double implication there is another word by condition okay by so condition. here you can see the symbol for the implication or the conditional is like this single single uh, single side arrow uh, and here you can see the relationship can be shown like this p implies q and meaning of that is what if p happens then q happens then we have the by conditional or the double implication we can see the two sided arrow p by conditional q if p happens when p can happens if and only if q happens that is nothing but the double implication or the by conditional okay so these are the different logical connectives are utilized in the proposition logic to show the relationship between the different kinds of proposition okay now let's see the uh, some of the now this all the things you can see in the example uh, okay this is the truth table for all these uh, uh, different kind of connectives negation uh, conjunction disjunction uh, implication or the conditional or the by conditional okay now uh, suppose if you want to see the use already we have seen the what is the use of this particular truth table for example if you have the example where p and q are given and find the value of suppose we want to find the value of p and q where p is true and q is false where the p is true and q is false then what is the value of p and q then you can easily find it from that particular truth table okay so that's you must be getting all these things now some let's see the some of the examples related with the connectives okay as you know the proposition logic use the five connectives to represent the real world sentences now in that first one we have the negation suppose if i said that today is the friday now this can be represented with the help of this propositional symbol p 
and meaning of this propositional symbol or semantic of this propositional symbol is what today is the friday suppose if you want to say the today is the not friday then this can be represented with the help of negation symbol and the negation symbol followed by the propositional symbol if you are the if you want to see the example of disjunction or the which is also referred as the or for example if i say you should eat or watch tv at a time now in the exam this you will get the this kind of sentences okay this kind of sentences or the proposition and for the two marks you will be asked you will be asked to write the proposition for that or write the proposition logic for that particular sentence now for example you have the sentence this you should eat or watch tv at a time then how we can write the proposition logic for this what is the first step in writing the proposition logic first you need to represent that facts or the sentences with the help of the proposition symbol correct yes so first this given complex sentence we have to represent it using the propositional symbol now here if you utilize the propositional symbol p and this propositional symbol meaning we are here having the meaning as you should eat and second propositional statement we are having that propositional statement we are representing is the second propositional symbol that is q and meaning of that is watch tv at a time or watch a tv now this is the first step represent the given complex sentence using the propositional symbol and convert it to the simple sentence and last write the proposition logic for that now proposition logic for that is simply nothing but this relationship p or q is it correct yes so the, this kind of question always being asked in the exam we will get the four five sentences and you will be asked to write the proposition logic for that kind of sentences if you want to see the example of suppose conjunction now suppose you have get the statement like this study well and get the marks study well and the get the marks so first we transform into the simple sentences using the propositional symbol p meaning of the p is the study well meaning of the q is get the marks and simply we can represent it using the p and q then suppose if you want to see the example of conditional if there is a rain then the roads are wet this is the sentence given now we have to write the proposition logic for that so first represent it using the propositional symbol p meaning if there is a rain q meaning the roads are wet and simply we have the proposition logic for that as a p implies q getting this yes in the similar way if you are the biconditional in case of the biconditional suppose we have the statement like this i will go to the mall if and only if i have to do shopping what i will go to the mall if and only if i have to do the shopping now here we we use the propositional symbol p meaning of that i will go to the mall another symbol we use here q it's semantic i have to do the shopping now this is the biconditional okay and this is can be represented with the help of this p double implication q okay so in this way uh, you can have the proposition logic for different kind of facts uh, in case of the uh, in case of the first way of representation of knowledge that is the our proposition uh, logic okay now suppose uh, here uh, one more example i have taken okay uh, suppose in the exam you get the statement you can access the internet only if you are the csc student or not a fresher okay this is the complex sentence you have given what you can access the internet only if you are csc student or not a fresher now here how many propositional symbol will required Three. We require the three proportional symbol first to represent the first this statement. Suppose you call it as a P. Second, uh, we require the propositional symbol. 
uh, to represent the another statement now you can access the internet only if you are the csc so q will represent you are the csc student okay here q and uh, then not a fresher this can be represented using the r and simply you can now write the logic for that you can access the internet only if you are the csc student now is this the which kind of connective we should utilize here in case of the first two statements which kind of connective will required which kind of logical operator will required you can access the internet if you are a csc student we need conditional. a conditional condition ka hai ki tumhi csc student asla pahiye so that's why here you can simply write, uh, you can simply write the logic in this way p implies q next we have the another connection here or not a fresher not badla ate the not then which connective will required negation 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 ata apan proposition symbol r use kela means we need to write the negation like this now where we should put the parenthesis now that is the important ata these are the how many conditions are there in this state sentence if you want to access the internet how many conditions are there conditions kiti condition hai two. two condition hai na two. first is what you you should be a csc student and second you should not be a fresher that is the reason you should put the parenthesis like this and then this is the complete logic proposition logic for this statement understood yes sir so putting the parenthesis is also the important thing here if you just write like this without putting the parenthesis then it will not represent the complete meaning of this sentence you are getting yes 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 sir and in this way to represent the any real world fact for example a different kind of real world fact for example present in the english statement you know to represent this various kind of logical fact present in the real world in logical expression form ai agent is need to take the help of this kind of proposition logic okay and in this way we, we have seen we can represent the different kind of these real world fact or the english statement in the logical expression form and using this representation in the proposition logic ai agent can understand this notation and perform the different kind of activity or the decision understood so this is nothing but our you can see the in, in the level of implementation of knowledge base agent we have seen the three level first was the knowledge base uh, sorry knowledge level second was the logical level and then we are discussing the details about the logical level where we are representing the knowledge into the proposition logical form now why we are representing it into the proposition logic form so that our ai agent can understand it getting the point yes sir okay so this is nothing but about the proposition logic now here are the some examples i have given you can note it down and you can uh, work it out it is cold and dark i am breathing if and only if i am live cat chases the mice or bird this kind of sentence have already asked in the exam for two or four marks okay so you need to write the proposition logic for that the way we have written okay this is just the homework for you okay you can write the proposition logic for that now next come uh, some uh, another uh, another important point in case of the proposition logic that is the inference rules now already we have discussed what do you mean by the inference where we can get the new sentences are formed uh, with the help of the logical references yesterday also we have seen when you uh, uh, when you get the new sentence from the old sentence and we reach to the some conclusion that is called as the 
inference suppose for example another example we can take here if a equal to b and b equal to c then we can have a equal to c yes or no yes sir yes sir how these kind of things this kind of logical things are represented in the knowledge base you are getting the point knowledge base of what ai agent correct yes this kind of now the, the meaning of a might be something meaning of the b might be something because a and b a b c are propositional symbols correct yes so while we are representing the real world facts into the logical form we are representing it with the help of some propositional symbol and these things are present where in the knowledge base understood and in the knowledge base if the agent find a equal to b and b equal to c then from that the ai agent can easily make the conclusion that a can be equal to c and this is called as the inference getting the point yes sir so in short we can say inferences rules say that the new sentences can be created by logically following the set of sentences from the knowledge base ata idha new sentence kotla generate zala apla a equal to c kutla sentences varun a equal to b and b equal to c correct yes and how we have generated this new sentence with the help of the inference with the help of the inference so there are the some rules of the inferences also in the proposition logic and the, with the names we can have that okay for example we have the modus ponens in that modus ponens uh, inference rule is like this x comma x implies y now this x and y are nothing but the propositional symbols understood present in the knowledge base you can see here second column here i have second column is what premise in bracket knowledge base premise in the sense these are the proposition present in the knowledge base now when this kind of proposition will be present in the knowledge base when we represent the real world fact using the propositional symbols yes or no yes apan ja ves real world fact propositional symbols ne indicate karto ki va represent karto tya ves te kute store kele jata in the knowledge base so in the knowledge base we are having this kind of uh, what you can say uh, propositional symbols and the relationship okay now for example if the in the knowledge base we have the uh, relationship like this x comma and x implies y now from that conclusion can be made as a y that this particular inference rule is called as the modus ponens then another rule is their substitution where if x implies y and y implies z now from that conclusion can be made x implies y chain rule is there x implies y comma y implies z and the chain rule says that from this uh, inference rule which is present in the knowledge base we can have the conclusion x implies z and that is the reason it is called as the chain rule and introduction and uh, in the knowledge base its representation is like this x comma y and from that conclusion can be made x and y transposition inference rule is there which uh, which is in the knowledge base represented like this x implies y and its transposition is like this transposition means what what is the meaning of transposition yes transposition means what from that you can tell me the meaning what do you mean by the transposition from negation the negation, negation or the reverse of particular thing so you can see here x implies y from that conclusion is what 
if you are doing the transposition conclusion is what negation of x imply negation of y okay so this is the these are the different inference rule are also utilized in case of the propositional logic and now let's see the last point in case of the proposition logic that is nothing but advantages of the proposition logic and some of the limitations of the proposition logic now advantage is what it is a simple way to represent correct we are just making the utilization of propositional symbol and we are representing the sentence yes or no okay that is what uh, the advantages of the proposition logic now first advantage proposition logic is the simple knowledge representation language is it true okay yes yes sir आपण काय करतो प्रोपोजिशन लॉजिक आपण फक्त काय करतो एक प्रोपोजिशनल सिंबॉल यूज करतोय आणि कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेन्स काय करतो आपण डिवायडेशन करून एक सिंपल सेंटेन्सेस मध्ये रिप्रेझेंटेशन करतो दॅट्स वाय इट इज कन्सिडर ऍज इट इज अ सिंपल वे ऑफ रिप्रेझेंटेशन ऑफ द रियल वर्ल्ड फॅक्ट्स अँड वी कॅन ऑल्सो से हियर प्रोपोजिशन लॉजिक इज अ सिंपल नॉलेज रिप्रेझेंटेशन लँग्वेज नाव इट इज अनदर ऍडव्हान्टेज इज वॉट इट इज सफिशियंट अँड इफिशियंट मेथड फॉर सॉल्विंग सम ए आय प्रॉब्लेम्स ऑन the kai je uh, what we can say some simple kind of sentences uh, okay uh, which can be easily represented with the help of the proposition logic that's why here it is being said it is sufficient and the efficient method for solving some ai it all ai matlan nahi hai you are getting some ai based problem can be easily represented or solved using this uh, proposition logic then next one it is the foundation for higher logics like the first order logic what do you mean by the foundation for higher logic means what the next kind of logic uh, representation we are going to see that is the first order order logic now in order to see the representation of knowledge using the first order logic we have to take the help of the proposition logic also that is also its one of the advantage getting the third advantage yes yes A extension for the proposition logic is nothing but our second type of logic that logic that is the first order logic manje kay jar first order logic aplyala jar use karaycha asel tar aplyala kashachi madat ghyava lagte proposition logic correct ata te ja ves apan second uh, representation bagu tya ves tumcha lakshat yil but in order to uh, represent the real world fact using the fol we have to take the help of the proposition logic that's why it is considered as one of the advantage of the proposition logic then we can uh, utilize the process of inferences in the proposition logic also so we can make the utilization of the different inferences rule uh, in case of the proposition logic that is also one of the advantage of the proposition logic now limitation is the important part here as there are the major limitations are there in case of the proposition logic okay and because of that we have to go forward and we have to see the next kind of logic that is nothing but our fol first order logic now for example what are the kind of uh, limitations now major limitation is what we cannot represent the relations like all some or none with the proposition logic आता आपण जेवढे काही स्टेटमेंट बघितले त्याच्यामध्ये आपल्याला यू 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 आर नॉट सीन एनी काइंड ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ वर्ड्स लाईक ऑल सम हॅव यू सीन नो तर बिकॉज प्रोपोजिशन लॉजिक कॅनॉट बी युटिलाइज इफ देर आर द सर्टन काइंड ऑफ रिलेशन इन द रियल वर्ल्ड फॅक्ट्स विच काइंड ऑफ रिलेशन द रिलेशन वेअर धीस काइंड ऑफ वर्ड्स आर युटिलाइज For example, all students are intelligent. Okay, all students are intelligent. अतः यह सब proposition logic माला कुनी लिए उन्दा कुछ शकल का. Is it possible to write the proposition logic for this statement? No, sir. No. But we have to represent it using some logical form. मग ते represent करने से अपन का use करना रे. Our second type of logic that is what first order logic. got the point yes for example another statement some apples are sweet 
काय सम ऍपल्स आर स्वीट हे आपण रिप्रेझेंट करू शकतो का प्रपोजिशन लॉजिक ने no. फक्त असं दाखवणे की ए एंड सम ऍपल्स आर स्वीट हे याला आपण लॉजिक म्हणू शकतो का याला आपण लॉजिक म्हणू शकतो का हे एक स्टेटमेंट झाला ना याच्यासारखं एक स्टेटमेंट झालं कारण याच्यामध्ये आपण काहीतरी रिलेशनशिप दाखवू शकत नाही रिलेशनशिप आहे की नाही याच्यामध्ये सांगा मला ह्या स्टेटमेंट मध्ये रिलेशनशिप नाहीये ह्या स्टेटमेंट मध्ये रिलेशनशिप नाही असं म्हणायचं तुम्हाला ह्या स्टेटमेंट मध्ये रिलेशनशिप आहे का ऑल द स्टुडंट आर इंटेलिजंट याच्यामध्ये रिलेशनशिप आहे का रिलेशनशिप नाहीये मीन्स यू डोंट नो वॉट डू मीन बाय द रिलेशनशिप रिलेशनशिप म्हणजे असं नाही की ते दोन स्टेटमेंट असले पाहिजेत आणि ते कनेक्ट केले गेले पाहिजेत त्याला रिलेशनशिप म्हणणार नाही आपण यू आर गेट यू आर नॉट गेटिंग द मिनिंग ऑफ रिलेशनशिप जर दोन स्टेटमेंट एखाद्या कनेक्टिव्हनी कनेक्ट केले गेले असतील त्यालाच रिलेशनशिप म्हणायचं असं नाहीये इथं रिलेशनशिप कुणालाच फाइंड इथे कुणालाच वाटत नाही की इथं रिलेशनशिप आहे इन दिस टू स्टेटमेंट ऑर द सेंटेन्सेस थिंक ऑन दॅट ऑल द स्टुडंट आर इंटेलिजंट फर्स्ट एक्झाम्पल अँड सेकंड एक्झाम्पल सम ऍपल्स आर स्वीट ह्या दोन सेपरेट स्टेटमेंट आहेत यस शंतनू Is there any relationship in this statement or in this statement? If if you are saying no, then why no? Yes. Tell me something. Hi, sir. Relationship. Ah? Relation, hi, sir. Kai relation, eh? रिलेशनशिप ना सम प्रॉपर्टी असोसिएटेड विथ दैट ही गोष्ट आपण प्रोपोजिशन लॉजिक ने रिप्रेझेंट करू शकतो का प्रोपोजिशन लॉजिक मध्ये तेवढी एक्सप्रेसिव्ह पॉवर आहे का नो याच्यामध्ये काय रिलेशनशिप आहे फर्स्ट स्टुडंट अँड इंटेलिजंट स्टुडंट आणि इंटेलिजंट देन हाऊ यू कॅन सी देर इज अ नो रिलेशनशिप येस Now, all of you are agree there is a relationship between these sentences. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In every individual sentence, there is a relationship. Here, you can see that all the students are intelligent. What is the intelligent? What is the intelligent? Some apples, and the property is sweet. Here, what is the word used? Some. Some means that some apples are not sweet. You are getting the point. Yes, sir. You are getting the point. Yes, sir. Understood. But here goes to these things. Can we represent? Is it possible to represent these kind of sentences using the proposition logic? That is my question. Uh, 
no understood and for that reason we are having our second type of the logic that is the first order logic which can represent these kind of sentences very easily that we will see in the next lecture understood and this is nothing but the major limitation of the proposition logic which you can write in another words it has the limited expressive power correct proposition logic is having what limited expression uh, sorry expressive power limited ka matle karan ashe je words ahet all some none ya if this kind of words are there in sentence then that kind of sentences cannot be represented properly using the proposition logic and you know to represent that properly using the proposition logic we have to make the use of first order logic got the point yes sir okay so that's it for the today's lecture we'll see the next time first order logic okay